geometry geometry is a group of two words one is geo another is metry so geo like geography and geology geo means art and metry like trigonometry or geometry metry means measurement anything related to the art measurement is called the geometry it may be any shape any construction of building uh, any kind of measurement is called the geometry so we have some basic elements or we can say uh, some building blocks for geometry and those building blocks are known as like point curve uh, line ray etc let us uh, discuss about the point so what is point point is very simple you know about uh, any kind of dot uh, is called a um, point so it may be a very tiny or it may be almost invisible uh, like a very simple dot or simple dots are called um, points so here you see uh, there are three points the first one is denoted by a then b and the third one is c so capital letters are used to denote the points the point has no any size no any length breadth and height they are just known as the location marker location marker or position marker they will specify a particular position like c you will specify that position particular position okay so next one is called the line so what is line if we have two dots suppose a line segment let us draw a first time the line suppose here uh, is two points are there a and b and we have joined them in a very straight line that is the shortest route uh, between a and b a and b are two end points a and b are two end points so here you see that portion that portion straight portion is called the line segment why it is called segment because we have two end points that is one segment beyond b and beyond a there is no any possibility of lines so here uh, by notation we can write that way also like a b equal to b a so they are both of them are equal in the sense that uh, you can move any direction you will get the same thing so one example of line segment is that if we are holding a thread okay uh, with our two hands then it seems to be like that if we tightly holding the thread at that point then only that portion only that portion become a straight line there is no any plug there is no any curve in that portion so in between a b that portion is called the line segment you see beyond b the thread is still there but there is a plug or or curve something curved like that so that portion is not the, not called the line it is a curve so only the straight portion is called the line segment so <coughs> here uh, another we have an basic element called the line line segment and line is a little bit different so how it is different uh, let us draw a diagram like that way and we have given two arrow marks at uh, the two opposite directions and we have to specify two position sorry two points here just imagine that is the a point and here it is suppose b point and it means the arrow means actually it will move far away from the b endlessly and again in that direction also from far away from a also it will move endlessly 
to indefinite position so here if we give the notation uh, of that line is like that way a b again same to b a but the bar above the a b and b a will be a little bit different here we use the arrow marks there another thing is that in case of you see in case of line we can use the single simple small letter also so l will specify the line a b here you can write down l that is equal to the b or a b so that is the line again uh, if we have two lines suppose let us take two lines straight lines not curved lines the straight line l1 and here it is the l2 and they are intersecting at a point suppose it is called a p so p is the intersecting point so in our practical li life in your alphabet we know that x is the x means the two lines intersecting at a single point and that is called p so those kind of lines are called the intersecting lines intersecting lines again we have an, uh, that those are the intersecting lines again we have another kind of lines there like your ruler or we can say them as scale also that is suppose ruler one ruler you use in your mathematical class that scale if we think about the points end points there are four end points here a here it is b here it is suppose c and here it is d so two line segment a b and c d are there there those are the two edges opposite edges okay a b and c d so if we uh, make them line instead of line segment so what can we do we we can imagine that we can extend that point b to far away from b to indefinite position so uh, question yourself are they meet at any point bd no they will never meet at any point because they will maintain the same distance throughout the uh, line so at any point there is no any possibility to meet them so finally we can say that kind of lines are called the parallel lines so in case of parallel lines the notation will be like that suppose a b and here it is c d so we will use the notation like that way that is the parallel lines and here it is at the top of the a b and c d like that way again if we specify those lines as small letters like uh, l1 and that is is called l2 then it seems to be l1 parallel to l2 that is also one kind of notation in case of parallel lines so those lines are called the parallel lines again there is another uh, basic elements which is most important that is called the ray ray is also a one kind of line but you see in our practical life suppose we have a torch or any kind of light so from a light some rays will always radiate from that source so there is a source point in case of ray there is a source point and from that source point the radiation will radiate to an endless position or far away from that point indefinitely so that is that kind of uh, light is called the called the ray so the ray should have a original point or the original point or the source point and on the line suppose we have a point p then it is called the op is called the ray 
so that is the ray it is a one directional line since it is a one directional line so we can't write like that way po is not equal to uh, op is not equal to po so that is the wrong notation in case of ray since uh, the direction is op so that is the ray those are the basic uh, building blocks for the geometry you have to know about point line segment line again two types of lines are there intersecting lines and parallel lines and ray also there so parallel lines again you see rail lines also the example of parallel lines in case of rail lines you have a very good idea how a, how two lines uh, become a parallel line when they will never meet at any position 